The Lord says, I am raising up and I've already begun to raise up an army of prophets, an army of apostles, an army of prophetesses, my God, an army of pastors, an army of evangelists, an army of teachers, my God, to take over the land of Tobago because the Davids are arising, my God. You got to understand that David took over from Saul. Saul was the king of Israel, remember that? But then David took over because Saul had been rejected by God. But ask your neighbor, are you a David or a Saul? Now we've heard apostles and prophets and teachers and leaders preach about David and Saul. And they always bring the revelation that David was anointed with a horn while Saul was anointed with a vial. How many of you have heard that before? But I want to take it a little further tonight. There is a law that I like to call the law of first mention or the law of first impression. That is, the first time you see someone in scripture, it sets a precedent for what is going to happen to them in the rest of the Bible. The first time you see David in scripture, he's taking care of his father's sheep. The first time you see Saul, and I'm going to use the King James Version, so excuse my language, he's running around looking for his father's asses. So one is looking after sheep, the other is running behind asses. If you want to know if your leader is a David or a Saul, just check their congregations. If you want to know if your leader is a David or a Saul, just check their congregations. Because there are some that are leading sheep, and then there are others that are... Oh, you're not going to like me tonight. You're not going to like me tonight. You see, many of you, your pastor is a Saul. Some of you, your apostle is a Saul. Your bishop is a Saul. My God, help me up in this house. Your prophet is a Saul. Huh? I heard Prophet Brian Kern in a message years ago say, God is the only boss that will fire you and still let you keep working. The Bible says that the Spirit of God left Saul after three years of being the king. But guess what? Saul led Israel for how many years? 40 years before David took over. So he led 37 years out of the presence of God. Many of the pastors in this land are operating, but they have been fired a long time ago. Some of them are veterans in the gospel. Some of them are highly respected. But guess what? The pandemic exposed many of them. Instead of speaking out against what was happening, because money was placed in their bank accounts, uh, they either said nothing or they supported what was happening. They even encouraged their members to comply with the protocols. Jesus said, I come to bring a sword and I come with peace. So if you came here for Jump Shout, run around the pasture kind of message i'm sorry to not tonight i've come to start a riot and i've come to start a revolution are you hearing what i'm saying tonight because there's a change that's about to take place in this land and it starts tonight in the name of jesus